you jump with an umbrella, you actually fly. So we're gonna test it without and with. Fly. Three, two, one. Whoa. Woo. Did I fly? We're gonna slow it down and see how many seconds or frames it took and then compare it with an umbrella. This is for Mary Poppins. I do feel like you went a little slower. I know, it really does feel like you kind of like hovered for a second. Ah, did I fly? I don't think that worked. Because we broke too many rules while staying inside the Puppet Master's mansion, we've been punished to spend 24 hours outside. But before we do that, we're given a chance to gather our supplies by winning them by testing 100 creepy scary pool myths. So because we busted this myth, that means we don't get a prize. So hopefully the next one works. This myth is that you can't get a watermelon out of the pool if it is covered in Vaseline or oil. We're just gonna cover this bad boy up and then throw it in the pool. Let's go! Yeah, I'm not doing that. Give me that water bus. Ah. 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 What was that? Oh. Give me the water. Ah. Ah. Okay, I feel like oh, it's just splashing me. Ew! <laughs> it's gross. Okay, okay. Okay, ew, ew, ew. Water bus, give me the ah. oh. I've got it, I've got it. It's busted. It is hard, but you can get it out. Also, this is unfair because I already had Vaseline on my hands. So since we busted the watermelon myth, this means we don't get a prize. So let's move on to the next one. We're about to break the number one rule at a pool, which is no running. But there's a myth that says if you run fast enough, you can actually run on water. All right, Cole, do you think you can do this? Yes. All right, on your mark, get set, go! Oh. I did a step. I was walking on water, what did I eat? Okay, it actually did look like for one second that like he did do a step, but I wouldn't say that you necessarily walked on water. I think that this might be a fail. The next minute is that it's impossible to clean your mask while you're underwater with water in it. Let's go! Cannonball! Oh. So there's a scene in Grown Ups where if you pee in the pool, it turns blue. We are not testing that myth. It's not true. No! They say that you can skateboard underwater in a pool, and so I'm gonna put that to a test. Okay. Oh. Let's do it, Gabrielle. Let's, Let's see be it. a Tony Hawk. Okay, three, two, one. Whoa! Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay. You have to see if you can stay on it underwater. Okay, guys. Let's see. <laughs> This isn't looking good for us and our prize this round. This is not This is not my boy. On your mother. Are you saying words right now? Okay. I got it. Ready? She has to get this. Okay, we need this prize. She's a splashy lassie. Oh, I think this myth is a fail. This is tragic. This is fail. Well, no prize for us. They say that you can't swim the length of a pool without coming for breath. But I say, you just gotta be fast enough. Guys, I don't know. so close to me. Stop this, it. This pool is really long. But Gabrielle, we really need extra material I know. for our side of the challenge. So okay. get this for us, okay? I got this. On your mark. Big breath. Get set. Go! Okay, guys. The key is to so just go fast and stay under. Oh, oh. 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 All right, we did it. We did it, which means we get another supplies for our 24 hours outside. This myth is that you can't make your own snorkel. We have this long clear tubing. Guys, do not try this at home. All right, guys, I have a really hard time even just using regular scuba gear. So I think I'm good to get a big inhale of water, so I'll see what happens. Okay, ready? You got this, Gabrielle. Bust this myth. <laughs> oh, are you okay? <laughs> what? Right. Okay, I'll try to say something. I'm so late. Oh my gosh, she's doing it. <laughs> this does not work. DIY snorkels. There's a reason you have to buy professional snorkels. Okay, myth fail. The next myth is that chlorine turns your hair green, but obviously we don't have blonde hair, <gasps> so we have a wig, and we're gonna test it out. Eden. Is there a lifeguard on duty? 
because I think everyone just died. <laughs> we have the wig right here, and then we're gonna get it off, put it on. Okay, ready? Ready? Set? Is it green? Yeah. No. It actually does kind of look green, doesn't it? Maybe a little bit. I don't know, guys. Comment down below what you guys think. Yeah, I feel like it looks a little green, honestly. Like, no cap. No cap. I think it looks a little green. Go all the way under. Um, no, it just looks like you're having a bad hair day. Smith fail. We have all heard the scariest myth around, and is that if you go into the pool after swimming before waiting 30 minutes, your stomach will explode and you'll throw up. I'm gonna put that to the test right now by eating a bunch of food, and then I'm gonna get into the water and do the hardest form of exercise in a pool, which is treading water, and see if my stomach really explodes. I have a lot of different varieties. I'm gonna do some carbonation too, to really like upset the stomach. Oh, oh, get those bubbles. Shake it around. Jump over down. Jump. Oh! Ah, okay, pretzels. More hummus. Yum. These actually look pretty good. I think I may help myself. Mm, more food! Mm -hmm. Are you eating cereal? Mm -hmm. Cereal! You're crazy. More sparkling water! Ah! Spicy! All the things. Ice cream cones. You guys, I need to be absolutely stuffed to fully test this myth. So, I just have to keep eating. More, more, more. Mm -hmm. One more big bite for good luck. Uh, Shake it, shake it, shake it. All right, let's go swimming. Okay guys, treading water also literally takes so much movement and like exercise. Wow, it's cold. Yeah. I'm in the pool and so far I haven't exploded and I'm already moving around. <gasps> oh. I'm exploding. I think that might have just been from the sparkling water. Little chilly. Okay, I'm moving around. Mm -hmm. Treading, treading. Ooh. Oh, moving fast. Keep moving. Keep moving. Okay, I feel like I'm actually floating every time I start moving. It literally makes me fall. Okay, but you're literally not like exploded. There's not chunks of you. Okay, I definitely didn't explode explode, but I had explosive gas. So this is true. All right. Obviously, anyone can shoot a Nerf gun. But the myth is you can't shoot one underwater. So let's find that out. Three, two. One. <gasps> they heard it make the noise, but it didn't shoot forward. Ready? Let's try again. Three, two, one. It's not going. It doesn't work. Okay, the next myth is that rocks are heavier on land than they are in water. So when you take it into the water, you're supposed to become super strong. Yeah. Out here, it is so incredibly heavy. Oh, okay, let's get it into the water. So now I have to get into the pool. Here we go. Oh my God, it got so much colder. So now that it's in the water, oh my gosh. Literally, this is so light. I feel like I need to go all the way underwater so you can see this. Give me the goggles. Here we go. Right, Picking let's up see the rock. Superhuman strength. Is he just gonna walk? Oh my God, you guys, he's literally just going to walk in the deep end and it's probably gonna weigh him down because it's so heavy. Oh. Is he just walking on the bottom of the pool? What is happening? Oh, that was incredible! Whoa! I pressed it over my head. That's I was cool. like, oh my gosh. I cannot do it without it being underwater. Okay, so that was definitely busted. Woo! This next myth is that you can do breathing exercises to extend how long you can hold your breath. Guys, do not try this at home. Okay, pool's going under. Three, two, one. Okay. So we'll have a stopwatch. <gasps> okay, that was not that long at all. What? I felt like 90 minutes. No, no, no. It felt I, like a short movie. Okay, so do the exercise. It is that you breathe in as much as you physically can. Breathe it all out and keep breathing it all up, keep breathing it all up, and then breathe in as much air as you possibly can. <gasps> See if this works. <gasps> Okay, guys, let's see. All right, he's doing well, doing well. Oh, it worked! Was it? Yes, that definitely worked. All right, let's go get a prize. Hopefully you're ready to play a game because the next myth is that you can actually use the pool water as a table to play cards. So let's play a little game, shall we? I feel like these are just Disintegrate? What game should we play? Uh, go fish, of course. Okay. Oh. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No one, way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then all these just go. In the 
middle. In the middle. Okay. Oh, oh, no, oh. They're sinking. kind of sinking. Oh. They're sinking a little. Oh, okay. okay. Wait, how do you play golf fishing? Uh, you have to match them up. Oh, okay. Oh, no. I have wait. two wait. two jack. Oh no, the hearts are literally sinking to the queens. bottom. Uh, Alright, go oh, wait, go wait. fish. Do you have uh, an ace? Uh, no, go fish. Oh, right here. Go fish. Okay. Do you have an eight? Uh, no, go fish. Oh, don't mind. I have, I have a six. Uh, I need a three. This is no longer go fish. This is go swimming. Uh, there's two ten. Like, I'm pretty sure I won. But I'm gonna say that this myth is a fail because all the cards are sinking. You cannot play cards on a pool. They're literally all the way out there. There's your three. Oh, there's Go get it. Okay, clean up on aisle pool. All right, this myth is how to turn your jeans into a life vest. I remember seeing this in Boy Scouts because this is potentially life-saving. Let's say you're in the middle of the ocean, you don't have anything to save you, but you take off your pants and use them as a life vest. I feel like this isn't working. You're supposed to like be able to wear them like this, like a life vest, but I don't feel like it's gonna keep me floating. Oh wait, look. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, actually it is. I think it's floating. Wait, it's actually working. Is it keeping you up? Kind of, yeah. Ooh, oh, it's sinking, it's sinking, I'm drowning. Oh, the air is coming out, you're squeezing it. You're squeezing it, don't squeeze it. I think that's what was wrong. I was tying it the wrong way. I think you tie it like this, and then put the light together. Okay. Empty out all the air, okay. Then open it up like a parachute, and then you go like this. <gasps> wait, wait. Put your, put your head through it. Wait. Guys, it's actually working. Oh my god. Oh wow. Really no work? way. Yeah. Who needs to buy a pool float when you can hit your local community pool with your jeans? You need to take your pants off and then you have a float. So much better than I thought. And it's actually really comfortable. That's crazy. This myth is that you can put an air mattress in the pool while someone is sleeping and Tyler is pretending to take a nap and we're gonna see if it would be possible for two people to lift up the mattress and throw it in the pool without waking them up. And that it would even float. You grab that corner, I know the other corner, other corner, other corner, oh. other corner. Sorry. And then just kind of burrito it and live. Ow. Wait, this is really heavy. Is he still sleeping? You're supposed to slowly ease oh, him oh, into oh, the pool. Drag him. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay, don't hurt his head, don't hurt his head. Oh no, he's like, yeah! Three, two, one. Are you, oh! <laughs> oh my bad noise. <laughs> oh, it's Tyler's sleep scream. He's having a bad dream. He won't it. Okay, slowly push him in. The goal is to keep him on the mattress, you guys. Oh. Okay, that definitely works. Watch out, I'm coming on. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. How are you wet? Ah. 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 I really said bumper beds. We lost this myth. No, this definitely me. works. There's a myth that if you put a bucket over your head and go underwater, you'll stay completely dry and won't get wet. So we're gonna try that right here, right now. We're professionals. Don't so try this at home. All right, got down. Okay, guys, she's going under the water. <laughs> go down. <laughs> Run three feet of water. Come closer to me. Okay, yeah, ready? No. I'm gonna have to like jump on this, so don't have your head on it. Ready? One, two, three. Oh my gosh, wait, it's working. Wait, it actually works. <laughs> Why did we do that? I don't know, the two people who are in charge of pressing the box down. But I think it worked! It did work! I think it worked. <laughs> video we want our first prize which is shelter okay that's good because if we had to spend 24 hours outside without any shelter that would have been so bad next thing we won was food okay that's great this time we got warm okay whatever that means warmth I guess because it's gonna get cold at nighttime it's yeah it's really it's cold. Gonna be freezing okay this says that we got entertainment okay and that's good because we're gonna be spending 24 hours outside so That'll give us something to do, I guess. The next thing that we won was decoration, so that'll be really nice for the next video. Next thing up is refreshments. Ooh. We'll see you in the next video. Subscribe if you want to see us spend 24 hours outside. Oh boy. Bye.